My name is Dunnitz and I have been grinding my little body off for this sword. It is absolutely insane. The ball and guillotine. I've got two damage perks on there. Frenzy. And I can also pair this with Whirlwind Blade or Surrounded. Frenzy and Surrounded. Frenzy with Whirlwind Blade. Two damage perks. One sword. Ball and guillotine. It's back, boys. It's absolutely insane. Stay with me. I'm going to show you how to get the best of both perks with uh, certain exotics like a Bane Leaps where we can proc Surrounded very easily. And this sword just does absolutely insane damage, guys. Absolutely crazy. Probably the best sword in the game right now. And then, uh, like I said, I will be featuring a Bane Leaps to show you how to get the best out of both perks. So, the Fallen Guillotine, Vortex Frame, Void is back. Uh, I did this, basically, I didn't really have to do much for it. I just completed the quest and did a wave 50, and I got a couple of these dropped. But we've got Frenzy on there, being in combat for an extended time. Increases damage handling and reload. For this weapon until you are out of combat. It also paired with Jewelish Trance, but I'm not really bothered about that. But the main sort of catalyst perk is going to be Frenzy. We're going to pair that with Whirlwind Blade. Rapid Sword Strikes increase the weapon's damage for a short duration. Garden blocks the effect, but we could also pair Frenzy with Surrounded as well, where being in combat gives you increased damage when you're surrounded by three or more combatants. So Frenzy, after being in combat for 12 seconds, it grants 50% increased damage. 100 handling, 100 reload speed for 7.2 seconds. It also works if you've got it stirred. So we're going to be pairing Frenzy with Whirlwind Blade. Rapid Sword Strikes increases weapons damage for short duration. Powered Hits grant 3% increased damage for 3.5 seconds. Which can stack 10 times for a total of a 30% buff. But don't forget we're going to have Frenzy as the main perk with the other two damage perks. Now with Whirlwind Blade... You're going to get up to a 30% damage buff and it goes up 3% per hit, up to 30%. But we've also got the Frenzy going on. So we're going to get up to a 30% plus Frenzy, 15%. So 45% damage increase very, very easily. Frenzy, like I said, I will be, and I've said it a couple of times, but I'll be using this pack all of the time with Whirlwind Blade or Surrounded. Now Surrounded, while you're within 8 meters of 3 enemies, Bearing in mind, swords do 35% damage increase for 1.5 seconds. So we're also going to have a 35% damage increase whilst we are surrounded as well. Plus the Frenzy, so a total of a 50% damage increase. And like I said, Frenzy is pretty easy to proc, especially with swords, because you are going to be up close. And don't forget, you can stir your sword as well. So you don't have to actually have your sword out. So get a 50% damage increase from Surrounded and Frenzy at the same time. You can pair this really nicely, in my opinion, with a Bane Leaps. These give you Woven Mail every time you suspend something, and it improves your Drenger's Lash. So for packs like Surrounded, this is just an absolutely perfect. You've got, you're going to be surrounded with everything that you've suspended. You're going to proc your Woven, woven Mail. You've got your Surrounded going, and then probably you're going to have your Frenzy going as well. So a nice, easy fix. So get your enemies suspended, get them uh, unstopped or overloaded. And then you're going to get that nice surrounded going. You're well protected by the woven mail from the abeyant leaps. And on top of that, we're going to have the banner of war going as well. Woven mail and healing and an absolutely crap ton of damage going on via the frenzy and the surrounded. Really, really strong and it just absolutely melts. And again, like I touched on Yesterday on some of the weapons I covered it, there's no Void Burn damage at all. So considering this isn't a Void Burn season, this sword is absolutely melting champions at master level. And this is why I believe I got this sword with a perfect roll, because as we know, we've surrounded. If you're not surrounded, it obviously not going to proc. But this is where we've got the Whirlwind Blade as a secondary option. So for situations where you're not going to be surrounded like so, you can just switch your perk over to Whirlwind Blade, where you're going to get up to a 30% damage increase with Whirlwind Blade. So you can just switch that out and do the same thing again, suspend and get that Whirlwind Blade going pretty, pretty easily like so. And even if you don't get the times 10, it still does really nice damage. Again, for like boss DPS, dungeon DPS situations, both perks are going to be really, really good. But just on a Titan, this is just one idea I sort of had. There's probably going to be some more sort of unique exotics on hunters and things like that where we could take advantage of these perks but i found the bait leaps absolutely crazy and like i said you could switch around them two sort of perks whirlwind blade or surrounded to how you please 
But I found this sword absolutely crazy. Awesome. I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know if you've got it and what rules you've got. Thanks for watching. Have an awesome day.